Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome. It is our Soul Warrior reading. And these readings are for those of you who identify as a light worker, starseed, indigo child, galactic uh, helper. Whatever your designation, it doesn't really matter. It just you feel the call to be a part of this ascension energy. And it comes with its challenges. It comes with its challenges when you can feel and sense and know uh, things that um, not everybody believes in, not everybody understands. And that is our role as a very um, small group. Uh, we are growing, we're getting bigger, um, but we are still a very small portion of the population. So I like to do these readings because I feel like we need that extra support. I feel like we need to know that we're not alone and that what we're experiencing is very real. So I'm gonna be using some very um, dedicated decks to those of us who do feel uh, the soul warrior. So I hope you're all doing well. Woohoo, all right. So we're gonna take those two Let's see what else we get here. Oh, they're just they're just a jump in. That's always a good sign. All right, two more and one more to go. And she popped right out. I don't know why I said she. <laughs> Feeling very feminine energy, I guess. had this card last just the last reading so communicate co-creation very important to be communicating from your heart very important to know that it is through your heart chakra that you are able to communicate the best with with others um, no matter who they are in your life or what role they have when you're coming at people from a place of fear or ego that is harsh energy to them and it makes them kind of back up but if you're coming to them with love no matter what you're coming to them with um, any kind of help any kind of um, I don't want to say criticism or judgment because we don't want to do that but you know sometimes you do have to kind of speak your truth and it might come off that way if it's coming out of fear but if it's coming out of love you know people can receive it and so that's what I feel first off from this card is that it's about coming um, out of love um, and to you know everybody in your life and I feel like that's what the you know the three different um, beings on this it, it's everybody in your life no matter where they are in their journey no matter what they're all about so nonverbal communication, love language, ding, ding, ding. Unique ways of communication, telepathy, light language, multidimensional information, community coexistence, relationships, meeting our highest selves, really seeing someone deeper listening. And listen carefully to what someone has to say without interruption. Furthermore, it may feel scary to share vulnerable truths, but this may be the only way forward. This card also encourages greater exploration in the realms of telepathy, healing in the arts, such as poetry, painting, music, where there is collective communication beyond the mind. So I feel like that is a very specific um, message for someone who will um, come to this reading. So be open to that be open to communicating in many different ways and sometimes um, we need that communication even if it's just communicating what is within us um, especially through the arts um, light language uh, creating um, oh I don't have it I'm gonna I'm gonna do I have one right here I thought I did 
Okay, I'll be right. I'm just gonna jump right over here. I was actually sent a um, gift uh, for Christmas uh, from a. Um, I can't say client because she's become more than a client, but she sent me this beautiful uh, rock that she painted. And I actually, actually sent me three of them and I have to um, hide one or more, but I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, and she did a beautiful job, but this is kind of her way of expressing herself when she's uh, feeling like she needs a time out or she's feeling like she just needs to go within or express what is in within her. So um, whatever it looks like for you, Whatever it looks like for you. Yeah, because we are. And I feel like this card came out last time. Uh, we are into a journey of wholeness. So this is about the whole part of you, all of the parts of you, from your crown chakra all the way down to in connection with Mother Gaia and encompassing all the frequencies. I mean, look at all the, co the color spectrum here is, is all the, the, the frequencies. So being uh, able to receive all the frequencies is going to help you to feel whole or connected in a way that um, you can't if you're not able to really tap into all the frequencies. So journey to wholeness, number 33. Yeah, acknowledge the full spectrum of a picture and bring any fractured parts back to the present moment. In this place, we are whole and thus have the power to step into the brightest version of ourselves. So yeah, really, really important to embrace where you are so that you can move forward and feel connection. So I feel like these two messages are coming back because these aren't things that are one and done. This is this is things that we work on continuously, but it's to being brought back to us. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. It, they're like connected. Look at that. Look at that connection. Yeah, by communicating your authenticity, you are embodying the journey to wholeness. So very important to be doing your work. Very important to be listening to what you need on a vibrational level, energetic level, emotional level, mental level, physical level. I love that. I love that. And so throat chakra, express your truth. So yes, it is going to be really important through that uh, journey to wholeness and communication, co-creation. Yeah, like you've gotta be able to speak your truth. You've gotta be able to express yourself. And so for those of you who are really um, having a hard time expressing yourself, doing some throat chakra work is gonna be really, really important so that you're able to um, really express the transformation and the connection that you're feeling to the spirit realm. I mean, look at this from the angels to the ascended masters is what this is making me feel like. So you're definitely coming into creation and <clears throat> who you are, but it, now it's about getting into being able to, and I'm clearing my throat as I'm saying this, so a little throat chakra work for myself uh, coming up. But yeah, uh, really working on speaking your truth. And again, from that place of love, from that place of your heart, um, because that is when it can be received. That is when it can be received. Because it is time. It is time to be stepping through. Stepping through what is for you. Stepping through the veil um, from the physical into the spiritual. Stepping through who you were before your transformation and into who you are on the other side of your transformation. And if you're someone still in process, that's okay. That's okay. So everybody's on 
in process on some part of their journey. But I do feel like if you're seeing this reading, you are going through it. You are transforming. You are being brought into your connection. So I don't want you to feel like you're alone. Whew. And I love this. Look at this. Because you're coming into fire. You're coming into Solaris Sublime. Some of you, it feels like you're having a Kundalini awakening. Like it's a major transformation, a major shift. And it can feel very lonesome, and it can feel very unsettling, and it can feel very like, oh my goodness. So what is this all about? Duality, creation, kundalini, the rising phoenix, bringing conflict into harmony, intensity, transformation, the incredibleness of being alive, coalescence, infinite energy. We live in a dualistic, dualistic world of light and dark, yin and yang, masculine and feminine. Focusing only on light can repress your shadows. Bringing forth both sides into balance and being real with our humanness allows us to reach more joy, authenticity, and depth. By accepting and loving all of ourselves as we truly are, we can extend more of this love and have deeper compassion with others. This painting portrays the balanced dance of creation. The greater the distance of separation, of duality, the greater the density. As the dragons come together, they dissolve into one with all that is. In this place of coalescence, the fusion brings both sides together in oneness, not just as a re-emerging with the universe, but in alchem alchemical process of becoming the empowered creator force we truly are. Yeah. So big, big transformation, I feel like, is what uh, you're probably feeling if you're, if you're seeing this reading. And these readings are pretty timeless, so whenever you're coming to this reading, there's a big transformation going on. And it's okay to know that you are where you're supposed to be. You are going through what it's prepared you for, it being your life, your role, your contract. So whatever is going on, no matter how scary or hard, or completely foreign it is you're going to come out the other side transformed so don't try to oh, stop it don't try to ignore it um, it just makes it longer um, you know if you need a mentor if you need some energy work you know definitely be looking uh, around to who you resonate with to get that for from all right uh, really important because this is big big energy that you're going through and I don't want you to feel like you've got to go through it alone yeah because um, what is coming through is holy grail inner discovery finding sacredness you are what you seek so that's what's happening here is you are coming into um, the knowingness that, that the Holy Grail resides within you. That you have everything you need within you. Your sacredness. What you're seeking. It's all right within you. But you just have to learn how to tap into it and how to bring it forth. And that's why, you know, it feels like, you know, if you need some energy work, if you need a mentor, by all means, please. Please, don't feel like you've got to do this alone. Do not feel like you've got to do this alone. Um, because your shadow aspect and your light are coming together. Without the dark, there cannot be the light. And so for many of us, um, the dark is very dark. And we just want to be the light. We just want to ignore the shadow self. We just want to ignore the hard stuff. But remember that the hard stuff is what's bringing you into your light. What's helping you to transmute the darkness so that you can be the light. So don't hate on yourself. Don't hate on your past. Don't hate on your experiences. Don't hate on what you've been through. Because believe it or not, it's what's bringing you forward into the new. It's what's propelled you into the change. 
honor that part of yourself. Honor those experiences, those relationships, those hardships. I know that's hard to say. I know that's hard to hear. But the darkness is what has brought you into where you are now and who you are becoming on this journey. Honor that. Love those parts of yourself where you feel like maybe you've let yourself down or maybe you have uh, stayed in something too long or you didn't see something sooner. Everything happens at the right time. Everything happens at the right time. Because you are in the halls of learning with your spirit guides, getting confirmation and great lessons. So yeah, you're being brought to it. You're being brought to it. And your spirit guides are here to say, we're, we're right here with you. We're in the halls of learning with you. Just invoke us. Just ask us to come in and help. We're right here. But we want to be here. But you have to invite us in. You have to invite us in. And for everyone, these are great lessons. These are not easy lessons. These are hard lessons. These are universal truths. This is the universe being revealed to you from the inside. Who you're connected to, what your role is, what your purpose is. These are big, big lessons. So honor yourself, honor the process. Take the time you need. If you need to step back out of life and, and downsize your commitments and, and get away from the distractions and do that because that is what is going to help move you forward faster. By you saying, I'm going to honor that I need this time, that I'm going through this internal shift. People around me can't see what's going on. They don't know why I keep bailing on the, the, the plans. They don't have to. And those who truly respect you and love you will be like, okay, she'll be back when she can. And those who are like, why aren't you doing what I want? Are they really going to be a great loss? Are they? Honor yourself. Love yourself. Give to yourself what it is that you need for you. Not about anybody else. It really, really isn't. It really, really isn't. All right, let's get an angel who you, who you can call in to help in this process. Oh, Archangel Michael. I love it. Coming in with infinite divine light. Yeah, he's coming in with crystalline white light going, we've got you. Just call us in for the strength. Call us in for the purpose. Call us in for the help. Call us in for the... I'm getting the word sucker. S-U-C-C-O-R. It's like nurturing and love and togetherness like all wrapped in one invoke him for that he will be there for you yeah he will bring you the infinite divine white light that you need that will help you to have the strength and the courage and the oneness and the connection so that you don't feel like you're alone you don't feel like you're not okay you're not safe and stable yeah, because you really, really are. You really are safe and stable. Well, I was going to pull a dragon card, but I don't see them here. I have a feeling they're out in the other room. Well, that wasn't smart of me to start the camera without making sure I had everything I needed. Um, so with that being said, we will grab an angel guide card to round out this reading. Yeah, because blessings in our abundance, they are on the way. Don't think that you're not going to have what you need as you're going through this. Don't think that things aren't going to manifest and appear uh, during and after this process. You're only, it's only going to get better. The blessings in abundance are only going to get more as you come out the other side of the lessons and the learning and the change and the transformation and the transmutation. So you're moving in a beautiful way. I don't want you to feel alone. I don't want you to feel 
uh, like you're the only one that's ever been through this because you're not so reach out reach out if you need support reach out if you need help I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love, so many blessings. I'll talk to you soon.